Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to replace a normal power adapter. In this particular case, 12 volts, 1 amp with a mini transformer or mini power adapter, 12 volts as well, but which in my opinion is a lot more elegant, especially if we want to do projects such as this one, like CCTV's installation in a more elegant way, in a smaller form factor. And this video is sponsored by cdkeysales.com, where we will find Windows 10, 11 Pro licenses, Office Professional Plus 2021, 20, 2019 and 2016, and also a lot more software and games at a great price. Check the link down below and if you use the coupon RJC key, you'll get an extra 35% discount. Now, one of the things that we should have in attention is in this particular case, I've got a 12 volts, 1.6 amperes right over here. And the power adapter that comes with the CCTV is 12 volts, one amp. So this one is more powerful than this one. And that is okay. The voltage has to be the same, but the amps can be more, it can't be less because the device will only get the power that it needs from the 12 volts so just have that in mind when choosing the power adapter i will leave links down below for the material that i'm using right over here obviously i will be using one of these 12 volt transformer i'm also using these universal uh, connect which is something that i use a lot in a lot of projects really easy to use just plugging the cables and then plug into the device i also have some wire right over here you can use any wire and also have material to solder and some some tools which you can see on the screen so no surprise right over here and some duct tape as well and basically this is it in terms of material if i forget something leave in the comments down below and i will try to update the description now the goal is to achieve installations such as this one or installations like the smart doorbell that we did uh, a few weeks ago which i did use a smaller power adapter such as this one to put in a smaller space and in this particular case it's a 5 volt which is the one that is powering the smart doorbell that I have so depending on the power uh, the size will be different as well the procedure is really easy we will find two uh, AC inputs and we will find two DC outputs so the first thing that I do is to put these tips uh, inside I'm going to solder two wires to the AC side and two I wires to the DC side and not forget which side is the AC and which side is the DC once we have finished the soldering process which is quite easy right over here we just need to clean up and then um, in my particular case I prefer to put black tape so that it looks a little bit better and then finally i just need to connect the ac side to phase and neutral it doesn't matter which one goes to the phase and which one goes to the neutral is the same and then we will need to connect the dc side also i will connect two wires uh, to one of these plugs and it doesn't matter which one is the negative and which which one is the positive i've tried several ways and they all work both on the ac side and also on the dc side once that it's finished, all we need to do is to plug into the device. In this particular case, I'm using the Tonton CCTV system that we have seen this week. But as I mentioned, this will work for any device, 12 volt, 24 volts, 5 volt, doesn't matter. You just need to see the specifications of your power adapter or the device itself and then adapt the transformer that you get or the power adapter that you get. And basically, this is the process. This is a very simple process which will help us to connect devices such as this, these or a tablet or a computer on the wall or stuff like that in a smaller form factor. There. Now, on the next video, what I'm going to share with you is this example right over here, especially because four years ago when I did install my CCTV system, which is still working, I did use this format right over here, but inside the package, what I did was to, to break the um, adapter that came in and put it in a way that it would work but it's so meshed up inside and although it works waterproof and whatnot it's not as elegant as using something like 
this. So if you want to stay tuned for the next video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope that this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.